Hello and welcome to The Update. I'm Heidi Tiltons. Families earning less than $80,000 a year would be given access to free childcare under the recommendations of a new report. The Productivity Commission has outlined its plan, paving the way for universal early childhood education. Education Minister Jason Clare says the government will closely consider the report's findings. We want to hear what Australia thinks of this report. And in particular, we want to hear from early educators. We want to hear from teachers. We want to hear from the people that provide this essential service to Australian families today on all of the recommendations in this report, and then we'll respond to it in the next few months or so. The Australian share market is predicting some welcome relief for mortgage holders. Its target rate tracker expects four interest rate cuts by mid to late 2025. It's predicting the RBA will slash interest rates by 25 basis points in February, followed by three more cuts by August. A former CIA agent says Israel's sneak attack on Hezbollah militants in Lebanon was so intricate, even the US couldn't have pulled it off. Nine people are dead and close to 3,000 wounded after a coordinated attack attack saw thousands of the terrorist group's pages spontaneously explode. Former spy Robert Baer says it would have only taken a very small amount of explosives. Now to get this many pagers all at once, and apparently it's Hezbollah's primary communication network, it's devastating for Hezbollah and takes an enormous amount of skill, which no country in the world, probably even the United States, could pull this off. New rules for young people using Instagram are being welcomed as a good start. The platform will make children's accounts private by default and will also notify them when they spend more than an hour on the app. But the federal government says Meta must also make sure young children aren't accessing the platform before they're allowed to. A vote on the federal government's housing reforms has been delayed for another two months after the Greens, Coalition and some independents teamed up to block the Help to Buy scheme. The Greens are demanding a freeze on rent increases and an end to negative gearing and more public housing in exchange for their support. And the Scottish Government has now confirmed Glasgow will host the Commonwealth Games in 2026. Victoria scrapped plans to host the sporting event due to cost blowouts. Sport and entertainment are next. In sport, Papua New Guinea has got the green light to become the NRL's 19th team with the federal government backing a 10-year funding plan worth an estimated $600 million. Port Adelaide is optimistic Charlie Dixon and Ryan Burton will be available for selection for Friday's preliminary final against the Swans at the SCG. And Daniel Ricciardo could be racing in Formula One for the last time this weekend at the Singapore Grand Prix. There's reports the Australian could be axed in favour of New Zealand's Liam Lawson. In entertainment, Entertainment news, Diddy's arrest and jailing in connection with a federal sex trafficking probe has sent shockwaves through the music industry. Execs and record labels are reportedly making contingency plans should damaging information emerge about the rapper's alleged drug-fueled sex parties. Hot on the heels of the Barbie smash hit, it's official. Margot Robbie and her husband Tom Ackerley have a new project on the horizon. The couple will produce a movie based on the long-running video game The Sims. And Prince Harry will return to the UK later to this month for a charity event in London, but there's been no mention of his wife Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex, on the guest list for the annual Well Child Awards. And that's the latest from the Nova Podcast News team. We'll have another episode of The Update for you tomorrow. 